So Adobe I.O. is Adobe's developer platform. If you're a developer trying to integrate with Adobe, building on top of our platform, Adobe.io should be your first stop. This is where we have our APIs, access to I.O. events and runtime, as well as documentation. I.O. events allows developers to subscribe to meaningful platform events. Let's say a new asset is uploaded in Experience Manager. I.O. events allows developers to set up notifications to subscribe to those significant platform events. The card abandonment use case is interesting in that it, it, it captures the situation where a customer has put items in their shopping cart and then they go to the checkout page and they never actually complete that purchase, after some time elapses, perhaps 10 minutes or something like that, an event could fire and this event could be captured by I.O. events and get delivered via webhook, for example, to an application. And this application can do something interesting with this information, like for example, fire an email to the user, giving them a special offer and in some way entice them to come back and actually complete the purchase. Developers are now empowered to take action as soon as an event happens, personalize the customer experience, make it unique in near real time. The way Adobe I.O. events works is by ingesting events from various Adobe services. So we have connectors that talk to different services and we ingest those events into the Adobe I.O. events platform and then we expose them to third-party developers to subscribe to. So people who want to build an application reacting to events can go to the Adobe I.O. console and create a subscription. So before events existed, people had to actually go poll through APIs to figure out if something had occurred. So you wouldn't have a way to like be notified actually when it happens. You have to keep polling, which is very expensive. And as a result, you're missing out on events as they're happening on your platform. The experience for your customers is not optimal. So events is integrated with runtime. When the event fires, the function that you upload it to runtime executes, and this can all run within the Adobe I.O. platform. And those functions can either do computation or they can actually call additional APIs. We're at the beginning. You know, we have APIs, we have events, we have runtime, and we can't wait to see what our partners and customers are building on top of our platform.